Believe it or not, we have now officially reached the halfway point in the college hockey season. Welcome into your WCHA Weekend Recap Show. I'm your host, Kirsten Kroll. We have seen some of the top plays of the year throughout the entire sport right here from our very own conference. This weekend was no exception as some of the most intense games of the season were played. Some of the games turned out in favor of teams in the WCHA, and some of them favored the opposing team. I'm here to catch you up on all of the action, and let's start off by heading to Central Minnesota. St. Cloud State welcomed WCHA opponent Bemidji State into their house right before the Thanksgiving holiday. And after a tough stretch, the Huskies were able to pick up their first win after falling in seven games prior. Four different goal scorers stepped up for the Cardinal in black, and freshman goaltender Emma Polunski made 26 saves for her first career shutout. The Bulldogs traveled out east looking to pick up some hardware in the Windjammer Classic. In the semifinals, Minnesota Duluth took on Colgate, and thanks to the help of four different goal scorers and netminder Jessica Conberry, who kept the game a shutout right until the last 23 seconds, the Bulldogs were able to skate past the number two team in the nation 4-1 and take on Vermont in the finals. With a minute and 38 seconds left in regulation during the finals, Emma Yanko came in clutch with the game-winning goal for Minnesota Duluth. And not only did they take down Vermont 2-1, they also came home as champions of the Windjammer Classic. Ohio State took down Robert Morris in good fashion on Friday as they came away with a 7-3 victory. Not only did this game go down as a W in the record books, but it was also a career game for Tatum Skaggs. Skaggs recorded her first career hat trick in game one of the series, making her the team's leading goal scorer of the season with 11 goals. The Gophers headed to Lindenwood and it was a successful business trip for the squad. Alex Woken scored two goals for the Maroon and Gold on Saturday, helping give the Gophers the 3-1 win. Sunday's game was a battle all the way until the end, but the Gophers would hang on in overtime thanks to Olivia Knowles who netted the game winner and sealed the deal for a Minnesota sweep. The Badgers suffered their first loss of the season in the nation's capital on Friday, and Northeastern came away with a 3-2 win. The squad bounced back on Saturday against Boston University as they split the weekend with a 4-2 victory. That's going to wrap it up for the action-packed weekend. We'll see you back here next week with more of the top plays and saves from the WCHA.